Hello and welcome to Creating Cards with Alexandra. I'm Alexandra, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today we're going to make a beautiful card. It's a little bit more involved than what we normally do, but I think you'll enjoy the end results. There is a lot of embossing in this one, and then also a technique using um, the die from the Marius Trees. We are going to be using this die here, this tag die. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I have a window sheet and I have already cut this out. This is two and three fourths by three and three fourths. So this is just a little bit bigger than this tag, okay? And then what I did was I took strips of this paper, which is, uh, is it Joyful Christmas, I believe. And I took strips of shaded spruce, which is in this paper and real red. And I just took strips. These are about four inches long and I made them all different by quarter of an inch. So um, let's see, I have a quarter inch here. I have a half an inch and then three fourths of an inch. And you'll need about maybe one of each but you can mix and match these and you'll see as we go along what I mean. And then I already put tear and tape on the back. This is, I think this is half an inch. This was just in my stash, so I decided to use it, but we carry the quarter inch um, tear and tape. And I would recommend the tear and tape just because it's a little bit stronger because we're gonna be die cutting this as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So, um, actually on one of these, I'm going to bring in a sheet of paper because we're going to emboss before we start putting this down. I'm going to use the three fourths red and maybe the half inch on the shaded spruce. Go ahead and put some embossing or condition it for embossing buddy. And then I have two sentiments. I have love and joy, and this is from the Marius Tree set, and to you and yours. So we're gonna go ahead and emboss the red with the love and joy. And the shaded spruce to you and yours. And we're gonna emboss this with gold embossing powder. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then keep your embossing um, powder close by because we're going to use it later. Okay, so then here I have my little sheet here. And I'm just going to start placing these kind of at a diagonal. And this is kind of where you can have fun with it. I think I'll start with the green. And I have a silicone mat here, which is very helpful for this technique because I'm gonna go off on this acetate. I'm gonna go off on the sides and then we'll cut it later. So if you have a silicone mat, which we do sell in the catalog, you can go ahead and build that on here. Okay. 
and I'm leaving maybe about an eighth of an inch of that window sheet showing. So I don't know if you can tell there. Got a little bit showing there. And then I'm going to take the Love and Joy and put it down. So I kind of want that sentiment not perfectly centered, but more in the middle rather than the top or bottom. Oh. Now let's try again. All right, here we go. And then to you and yours. This set is carrying over into the new catalog. So if you don't have this set yet, right now we have the bundled savings where it is, um, you'll still get the 10% off the stamp set and the dies if you order them together. Once this catalog is no longer available, that um, will not be the case. You'll have to buy them separate without the discount. All right. So then I will just cut all of this excess off. Not being perfect, I'm just kind of getting the basic off just so it's not sticking to my die cutting plates. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. Now you will want to use a shim with this just because this window sheet is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit harder to go through. So I'm just going to place this. I'm going to place it kind of straight, but we're going to angle it on our card. You really do it any way you want. But I believe this shim came with the, um, the die cutting machine. Or if you don't have a thin piece of plastic like that, a piece of cardstock would work well. Okay, and then I'm going to run this through twice. And then back. And we'll keep this close as well because we'll need this again. Okay. All right, and then that is what we are left with. And it's very cool because it has that stitching on there around the whole base of it. So put this aside. All right, so that's our tag. We're gonna put that aside. We don't need that right now. Okay, and then I have crumb cake cardstock. This is four by five and a quarter. I'll go ahead and condition that with my embossing buddy. And then I have this little tiny star. Now this is going to take a little time because we're going to cover the whole background with little tiny stars, but we're going to emboss it with the gold. I'm just kind of randomly putting these on here. The middle is going to be covered, so we don't have to worry about the middle. Good. Then we'll cover it with our gold embossing powder. Okay. 
That looks good. Okay, we'll go ahead and heat emboss that. And then we will be done with our heat embossing. that looks good all those stars on there and then we're gonna come in with our crumb cake ink and that love and joy we're just gonna randomly put that all over the card make sure you turn it twist it you want something that just looks all crazy on here Again, don't worry about the middle. We're covering that up. Sorry. Oh, I'm right there. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to bring in our die cutting machine again. This time I have the Time Worn Texture Embossing Folder. And the Stampin' Up! logo is on the front here. But I'm going to flip this upside down. And we're going to run it that way. So it will be debossed. You can do it the other way. I tried both ways, but I seem to have liked this just a little bit better, the look of it. Wait till you see this. This is so pretty. I just love the look of that. Okay, and then we're gonna kind of assemble this and it's all gonna come together. Okay, so I have a piece of crumb cake. This is our eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle. I have a piece of gold foil and we're gonna, this is just a eighth of an inch larger. We're gonna adhere this onto our gold. So this is uh, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. So we'll have just a little peak of gold showing. Okay, and then we'll adhere this on to our card base. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in our tag and I have ribbon somewhere. There we go. This is from the annual catalog. It's the gold ribbon. Snip of that. And just thread that through. In the ends go okay and then we're gonna put 
foam adhesive strips on the back here. So I believe this is called a floating strip card. We want to cover this all up, obviously putting it on the the parts where the card stuck is so you're hiding any adhesive. Just kind of press that down, make sure it's adhered. Pull all the backings off. Okay, and I'm just going to put this down at an angle. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. There we go. Is that not so gorgeous? That debossing in the background and then the gold embossing. Okay, and then in the middle, I just have a piece of white and I put a strip of that DSP at the bottom. Of course, you can put Merry Christmas or whatever sentiment you want in the middle. There we go. That's our card for today. I don't know why. I just love this card. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And I hope you liked it as well. So thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I'm so thankful that you decided to watch my tutorial. If you would, please give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And also sharing it helps me grow my channel. I will list all the items used today in the description below which will direct you straight to my shopping page, which, which helps support me. So thank you so much and have a joyful day. Bye-bye.